Texas. The Permian Basin. You know about that? It is a gigantic lake of oil just under the ground. They're pumping so much out of that oil lake that they can't get it to their customers, they can't get it to market. They don't have enough pipeline capacity, they don't have the workers. What are they going to do about it? <laughs> Joining us now, Ryan Sitton. Now, his title is Texas Railroad Commissioner. <laughs> but he's really the main energy guy in the great state of Texas. Have I got that right, Ron? You're exactly right. Get that question a lot. Okay, yeah, I bet you do. Why the railroads? Yeah. What are you doing about this railroad crossing near my house? I get that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're pumping a ton of oil out of the Permian Basin. You can't get it to market. What are you doing about it? Well, I'm not doing anything about it, but the industry is. The industry is building new pipelines right now to carry all that new oil and that natural gas from the Permian Basin all across the country to the refineries along the Gulf Coast and around the world. I mean, they're getting that product to the Gulf Coast where it can export oil and natural gas to places like Europe, but China. So much more is coming out of that giant oil lake. It is. How long will it take to build pipelines with the capacity to take it all to market? Are we, are we talking years? We are, aren't we? We are. Uh, I will say this, in the next 12 to 24 months, most of the new capacity that the industry needs will come online. But still, when you talk about a six to 18 month window where there isn't enough capacity, that's a big shock to that system, which is why you hear a lot of producers that are concerned and are watching things very carefully. Is that the biggest oil lake virtually anywhere? <laughs> so I like how you call it lake. For all the, your, your folks Ocean. at home, it's, it's, it is stuck in a lot of porous rock. So when they go down and drill for it, they're opening up all those rock reservoirs to pull that oil out. And yes, the Permian Basin, when you look at all the different plays that are there, is one of the biggest reservoirs of oil in the world. Some people claim as much as a trillion barrels of oil are in the Permian Basin. So in the past, you drill a well down, you pump it up. Mm -hmm. Now, you drill a well down, and then you drill sideways. You that, do. That's what you're doing now. Yes, up to two, maybe two and a half miles you drill sideways. And the whole way, you hear about hydraulic fracturing, you're doing what we call multi-stage hydraulic fracturing. So you're, you're, you're pushing water and small pellets into the rock to open up those fissures and pull that oil out. Sometimes as many as 70 or 80 stages you're hydraulic fracturing. So that's what enables all these reservoirs to push that new oil out. And you, the railroad guy, are in charge of regulating this. I am. If you want to drill that well, you want to build that pipeline, you come to the Railroad Commission to get a permit, and you have to follow our rules that we but put But you place. guys in Texas, you want them to drill. You Absolutely. want to build the pipeline. You know, it's interesting. I'm a statewide elected official. In most states, people like me are appointed by the governor. In Texas, we are very proud that we were elected because at the end of the day, every Texan, regardless of their political persuasion, says we want the energy industry to do well. It is our number one industry and we know that it's our way of commanding markets and driving economies all around the world. The environmentalists hate you. You know, l let, me, let me speak about that because <laughs> I get real serious for you. You know, we hear about things like flaring and natural gas emissions. If you believed that methane and CO2 were the primary cause of, of global warming, you would say produce as much energy as we can in Texas because when people around the world do it, places like Russia, places like South America, places like the Middle East, they are not near as environmentally conscious as we are. We produce less CO2 and less methane emissions per amount of BTUs of energy than anywhere in the world. I'm very glad you found time to spend three wow. minutes with me in New York City today. <laughs> Welcome glad to, to Big do Apple. It. Good stuff. Ryan Sitton, we appreciate it. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Derek. Good stuff.